Hey folks, Malforan here, and yes, today we finally get our hands on Millennia. If you're unsure as to what this is, it is a 4x strategy game published by Paradox Interactive, and it is a 4x-like civilization, but it has some really cool mechanics around different ages you can go into, some historical ones versus some uh, very not historical ones, like ages of plagues, ages of blood, blood for the blood god, all that cool stuff. A lot of cool mechanics around that and some different ways that you can kind of play out the same countries in different ways during your campaigns. If you do watch this video and you are interested, I have covered all the dev diaries so far on the channel. I'll leave a link to those in the description down below. But uh, we're just going to get straight into it. I've been eager to get into this game since it got announced, so we're not going to waste any more time. Let's just get straight into it. And the demo itself, it is just 60 turns, but that's still quite a lot to actually have a good look at the game and see if you enjoy it. And it does include five possible ages. Now, I believe it goes three ages deep into the game, but there are variants, as it says, the Age of Blood and the Age of Heroes are two of them. So we're going to basically just play along, see how we do. Whether we get one of these ages or not, we'll discover during this campaign. Now, one cool feature of this game is that the nations themselves do have like tiny bonuses. This game, as I mentioned before, is all about having like personal choice over certain things. So... So we can basically choose any of these bonuses to begin with, or just hit random. To be honest, I'm going to go scout unit. I think just showing off the game at the beginning is going to be a lot easier with a scout for free at the beginning. But all these other ones do really cool stuff. But we're just going to pick a scout for now. For the nation, there's a bunch of nations in here. There's Ottomans, India, Persia, Russia, Spain, Sweden. We're going to be playing as the United Kingdom, obviously. And what are we going to be playing as? I'm going to put on Apprentice. It is my first game of it, so let's just see how it plays out. And here we go. Welcome to Millennia. So it's just telling us how to move around. We've all played 4X games. We know how that works. And we start here with an army and a scout. So we'll move the... Oh, actually, I kind of want to move this person separate. Let's do that. So we'll come over and explore. There are goody huts, all that usual stuff you see in 4X. So we'll actually use both of these units to kind of explore around and uh, see what is around us. Oh, we actually have another unit as well. Okay, well, we've got plenty to explore around. And this is our first technology in the Age of Stone, which everyone starts in. We can do farming, tribal elders, defenses, scouting, and workers. What's tribal elders give us? This gives us a council building, which gives us additional knowledge, which means we will progress through the ages quicker. Do you know what? We are on a bit of a time-limited run here, so I'm actually going to pick tribal elders first. And that should help us get through these ages and see what else we can unlock. This is our home region. It's also our capital as well. It is Manchester, as we saw before. What are we going to build? Do we want to build a warband? We've already got two military units and a scout, so I don't think a warband's that useful. We don't need to build walls, I don't think. We could build a town center. This is going to give us government XP. Sure, we'll build that first. And what government XP does, it allows us as tribal to unlock these bonuses as tribal, and then ultimately we can move into different governments as well. So it's quite a useful one. Now, the other thing is, as we've seen, we've got the government XP. We've seen warfare XP. This is basically how you kind of specialize your nations in this game by doing things on the map. So how you play your nation basically makes your nation better at those things. So if you do a lot of war, you earn a lot of warfare XP, and then you can use that to do warlike things like get units, get armies. Whereas if you do a lot of diplomacy, you earn diplomacy XP, and that makes you better and better at diplomacy. So it really does allow you to specialize. And as I said at the beginning, I have covered the dev diaries where they've gone over these kind of mechanics in detail. So if it does kind of tickle your fancy, watch those videos and you'll be able to catch straight up. Or you can give the demo a go on uh, Steam for, I think, roughly the next week or so. So uh, definitely worth checking out if you've not done so already. And there we go. We're just going to explore around, see what it's about. We've got a lot of, is this marble? I think it is. Landmarks. As you scout, keep an eye out for landmarks. Landmarks are special locations, very tall mountains, dense jungles, majestic canyons, Move a scout next to them, and you can discover this landmark. Okay, well, we'll try do that if we find one. Yeah, let's see what's in this hut. We've found some nomads. You found a small camp of nomads. They explain that their leader is very wise and willing to share her knowledge with you. So we can get 10 warfare XP or 10 government XP. I think for now, the government XP is going to help us more. But we've actually unlocked our first set of bonuses. So we can do tribal farming. Gives us plus one food. So our capital region will grow quicker. Or we can raise a tribal army which will give us a warband. I don't think we really need that just yet. I know I will regret this immediately, but we're going to go for this one. We're going to get the additional food. It's going to help our capital grow 
Oh, hello, we've met somebody. I don't know if this is a major nation or a minor one. We'll find out before too long. Cultural powers. These are powerful abilities that mark major events in the history of your nation. As you generate culture, you basically unlock these bonuses. And these are really another system that let you kind of put your stamp on your nation and kind of show what they are known for in like the annals of history as you play through. Have we unlocked another one of these? Oh, we have. We can actually raise our tribal army. We might as well save the uh, currency though, hadn't we? And do one of these like plus one knowledge. Yeah, these are way more useful for us at the moment. We can save this up and then raise an army if we need to in the near future. So I think that's probably a better way to go. Send an envoy with diplomatic power to convince this minor nation to become a vassal. Send an army to raise it and plunder their resources. I kind of feel like just taking this over, maybe. It doesn't look like they've got many armies here. I might spawn that army and just take it over. What do you think? Sure, let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. Let's see how it works out. They should spawn here, I think, next turn. Uh, we'll just kind of scout around, see what's around here. So cultural power. Yep, we want to create a town, which will make our capital region better, increases its wealth. Or we could do local reforms. This just boosts our efficiency. All resources gathered is improved for five turns. Well, we're not actually gathering any because we don't have any of these within our border. So I'm going to create a town. We're going to make our first kind of town in this area. I guess we'll just put it here. Wall send. There we go. Mysterious village. This small village looks very old. The people have settled atop ancient ruins, holding secrets unknown to your people. So we can get 10 XP for government again, or we can get exploration XP. I'm going to go government XP again. Unlocking these bonuses is way more important, I think. You get one improvement point. I'm actually going to save this for now because I don't think we have anything we can actually improve well at the moment. Once our border comes into here, we can make improvements. But for now, I don't think there's anything we can do. Oh, no, we could do a hunting camp, I think, if we had six. We found another goody hut. Auction. The village is holding an auction to sell and trade its people's wares. You can gain 50 wealth, which is quite a lot, or production in Manchester. Sure, let's do that. Let's take the production instead. I think that's going to be more useful. It can get us some of these upgrades a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm actually just going to... Oh, we found another goody hut. Okay. The village is built around a large stone monolith. Its etchings and carvings tell complex stories in an unknown language. It is very significant to the local people. I'm going to pick knowledge, because then we can uh, level up our uh, technology that a little bit faster. I'm actually going to come and explore this before we get too far out. Oh, hello. This is another nation, I think. Is it the Aztecs? It is the Aztecs. Here we go. We've got tribal elders. As we've seen, it allows us to build this. We get more knowledge, which is fantastic. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to take defenses. I think getting archers is just such a nice bonus at the beginning. Can we do anything interesting? Let's have a look. Open borders. Let's just send. Let's see what they say when they come back to us. <laughs> They'll be like, no thanks. Oh, the Aztecs said no. <laughs> They're like, no thanks. Not interested in that at all. Domains, you've unlocked your second domain. There are six domains. You started with government and we've just unlocked warfare. I'm not sure why, because we didn't do any battles. I think we have some natural warfare XP ticking over because we are a tribal government. So yeah, we can spend this on bonuses. 25 will allow us to spawn a warband, basically. And we would get this a lot quicker. If we were going around just fighting people constantly, we'd earn a lot of warfare XP, which means we could spawn these more and more. You can kind of just keep units rolling by constantly fighting people and then spawning replacement units and things like that. It's uh, it's a very cool system. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is where we can raise our tribal army. We needed the XP to actually do it once we'd unlock the ability to do so. And we can spawn a settler, so we can actually spawn and build our second city if we wanted to. Do we want to do this? I kind of want to attack these guys just to see how it goes. Joel, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just spawn them here and uh, we'll give it a go, I think. Joel, let's just give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> we could just die, but, uh, you know, we'll find out. The scout could just keep scouting, though. Yeah, so we've got some barbarians here. Now, they're quite powerful, I think. 10 defense, 7 attack. Can we see what they are? They are 15 attack. No, 7 and 8. So, well, they're basically just slightly worse than us. But we might as well attack them and try and get some kind of advantage. And this is how battles look. If you've watched my Dev Diary coverage, you'll know I don't think it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and say this looks awesome. I hope they kind of improve how this looks before launch. The game hasn't got release date at all yet, so there's plenty of time to make improvements here. And to be honest, I'm one of these people that would take a game that plays well over a game that looks fantastic. But there's definitely some graphics in this game that I'm like, you know, an improvement would do some good. Oh, yeah, we actually have this unit as well. So, actually, yeah, we have three sets of units here. There we go. We've got our defenses, which actually gives us archers that are really good for attacking people. Should we wait and just pick up some archers? Or did we spawn some archers? Oh, wait. No, we did. Awesome. Nice. I think it actually spawns us some archers immediately, which is cool. Gives us some warfare XP as well. 
So we've picked up elders and defenses. I kind of feel like building up farming. And then once we've unlocked farming, once we've hit three out of five, we can move on to the Age of Bronze. And that is one way you can really improve yourself in this game. If you can get ahead in the ages, you pick the ages that everyone else plays in and you have those bonuses first as well, which is pretty cool. Just a warning us here about barbarians. We've got to watch out for those and improvements. Obviously, there's a lot of improvements we can do. We just need to have the points down here to do them. Do we want to attack them again? I think we might win, but I'm also a bit scared, so we'll run away. <laughs> we'll do that instead. We can do a culture power. We can raise another army. It would spawn a warband and an archer. Kind of want to just raise this army, you know, <laughs> just keep making troops, actually. I was thinking of playing quite, uh, not passive, but just kind of explore the game a little bit. But I'm actually just going to spawn armies <laughs> and we can bring them over. We can attack these. We could even go down and attack the Aztecs down here if we wanted to. There we go. We've got farming. So now we can click this and in 11 turns we'll progress. Now, instead of doing that, we could hang around and unlock both of these instead. But I'm just showing off the game today. So we're going to do Age of Stone and get into there as soon as we can. Let's see how we do in this fight. Battle in the Wilderness. They've got these uh, Palisades, so it does make them a little bit harder to attack, but I think our Archers will do quite well here. We probably should have waited, I guess. Let's just skip to the end. How do we do? Well, our Archers did well. Everyone else, not so much. And we did a little bit of damage to their walls. Are these just like farmers? Are these just city militia? Oh, we should be able to defeat them quite well. We have got our other army coming. Do we want to attack them again? I'm going to do it. Let's see what happens. At worst, we've got this other army coming. Doing quite a lot of damage to the uh, defenses here, but I think they're going to last long enough. Come on, archers. You need to start attacking these militia. Oh, they did. Nice. Oh, we've, taken, we've destroyed their walls. See, I quite like how these play out turn by turn. As I said, the graphics could be better, but I actually quite like how you kind of watch the uh, battle unfold. And we're going to run out of turns. I don't think we're going to lose any more troops. No, he's going to survive, and our archers... I've taken no damage. No, they haven't taken any damage. So next turn, we should be able to defeat them, I think, there. Right, let's move you guys down here. Do we want to attack this again with just our archers? No, there's no point just, like, needlessly throwing them into the fight. So we'll save it for one more turn, and then we can attack with the other unit. I want to attack with you guys first. There we go. Let's give it a go. Oh, yeah, all their defenses are gone. I think we should do quite well here, because these are just city militia. So I think they're pretty terrible. Well, actually, they're not that bad. Six and eight. They're not that much worse than our warbands, although look at our archers just absolutely mowing them down. I think we're going to win this relatively easily. There we go. Oh, he's run away, I think. His morale is broke, so he's gone. Prisoners of war. Their defenses were valiant, but they could not endure. After the last of them surrender, you must decide what to do with the survivors. You can compel the survivors to migrate to your capital, pillaging what they leave behind. So we gain two population in Manchester, which is pretty good. We gain plus 10 chaos, plus 100 wealth, and we destroy it. Or we can vassalize them as a minor nation. Sure, let's just raise it. <laughs> let's just raise it. Let's get Manchester growing and we'll just destroy these minor nations. If we vassalized it, it wouldn't become technically a part of our nation. Well, it kind of would, but also it's like semi-autonomous. It can kind of do what it wants and it sends us tribute, I believe, is how that works. So it is quite cool having these independent nations. But uh, I think for this campaign, actually, with how we've kind of got all these military units at the beginning... I think we are just going to just attack people and see how it goes. Oh, what we should do, though, is build these improvements. Look at all these cool stuff we can get. Yeah, let's get a farm on here. Can we do another farm? We can next turn, I think. So we'll get another farm on here next turn. And then this army, I kind of feel like just attacking these. Although I think we probably need another martial unit first. Because we have got these two archers, but we need something to kind of protect the archers before they get attacked, I think. Let's see what's in here. We get 10 war warfare XP. Oh, fantastic. That actually means we can do these volunteers. So we can have another army spawn here. Yeah, another set of militia. Awesome. That's just what we needed. And then once these are here, I think we'll give it a go. Let's just see how it kind of uh, plays out for us. Oh, there's actually two more minor nations here. Interesting. There's more minor nations than I thought there would be. Oh, here we go. Cool. We've gone into the Bronze Age. Did we get there first, or was that saying Persia got there first? I think that meant we overtook Persia to get into the Age of Bronze. Or did we? No, we didn't. No, in three turns. Oh, okay, so Persia's actually ahead of us. Interesting. They must have focused on it, or they probably picked up one of the early bonuses that gives you things. Oh, Aztecs have founded another city as well. I thought we were doing okay, but maybe we're not. Sure, let's just attack them. Declare hostilities. There we go. 
<laughs> Let's do it. We can use our cultural powers to either make another town or raise another army. I kind of feel like raising another army, to be honest. And we've got another entire army here for us. Are they going to attack us then? Age of Bronze. There we go. We've reached the Age of Bronze. And that allows us to unlock a national spirit. These are another system in this game that kind of stands it apart from other things. This is where you can, on top of the ages, kind of specialize your nation into certain things. We'll see what Persia has chosen, because we should get told. Right, you come down here. So yeah, we've got a decent army size actually here. 29? Oh, they've got a pretty decent sized army here, but I think it's fine. Can we not attack you? I thought we declared hostility. Choose a national spirit. Okay, so yeah, they chose naturalists because there isn't a bonus here for picking them anymore. Or they pick mound builders. Oh, maybe two nations are ahead of us. Interesting. Well, we've started going down that warfare route at the moment. So what does raiders give us? We will be known as raiders. Raiders loot other nations' territories with overwhelming forces. Or we can be warriors. This just makes our warriors better. All these are pretty cool. Olympians, you can run the Olympic Games and get bonuses depending on how well they go. It's really cool. Sure, let's go warriors. Let's just go Spartan warriors, basically. Yep, we'll select this. We can pick up all these bonuses and then we can uh, use our troops to expand our border instead. Uh, but yeah, I thought we were attacking you. Or do we have to wait three turns? Ah, uh, maybe that's why. We can pick our first technology in the Age of Bronze. So here we go. You can see the possible routes we can go down now. So Age of Iron is like the default, like, historical route for going into the next age. Or you can do the Age of Heroes. So for that one, we need to discover three landmarks and get the three techs. Or the Age of Blood. All the nation units killed have to be six. So before this age finishes, by either ourselves finishing it or another nation finishing it because the age system is like map wide whereas the national spirits are specific to each nation we have to kind of like race to age of blood if we want to do it because somebody else could just pick age of iron because it's way easier to do and progress the whole map into age of iron and we wouldn't be able to do age of blood so we'll see what happens i don't think we found any landmarks but we'll keep an eye out for them i'm not really that bothered as to which one we go into during this campaign if you enjoy this video hit like and let me know if you want me to give the demo another go and we'll aim for one of these other ones but for now what do we want to pick shipbuilding i don't think we'll be doing much of that belief this will give us uh, temples and things like that community will allow us to improve our lands already discipline makes us more troops better troops basically like legionnaires and things like that Officials will make our... Ooh, actually allows us to disband barbarian armies that are going to attack us if we have the domain power for it. So, do you know what? We're just going to go discipline, though. Unrest is growing in one of your regions. Yeah, because we uh, destroyed that city, that's why. Oh, we've actually got all these bonuses here. So, we can spawn some more Spartans, or we can make Spartans free. You know what? Let's do this one. Let's spawn another set of Spartans, because then we can go on the offensive once again. Oh, we actually got some new archers as well. Oh yeah, no, we told them to build them, didn't we? Yes, we did. You know, I remembered that, guys. What are you talking about? And here we go. We can fully declare war. So, okay, so the initial step is to declare hostility so we can attack each other's armies outside of our city areas. But now we can actually declare war against the Aztecs and go to, go to actually attack them. So, John, let's give that a go. Let's see how this works out. I have no idea how this is going to go, because this is a city. Oh, wait, no, this is a new one, so they don't actually have any defenses. So we might do quite well here. Yeah, we actually did quite a lot of damage to them. The Blood Age Crisis grows stronger as you kill non-barbarian units. If it reaches six, you'll be forced to set the Blood Age as the future. There we go, we're going to destroy this unit, I think. Yeah, have we not taken this? Oh, yeah, no, we have. Yeah, it's changed to our border. I guess when the war ends, we can claim this or not if we want to. Or oh, are they going to come and attack us? They are. Our units decided to run away instead of fight them. Oh, we've got another barbarian camp over here somewhere. Yes, because we've got a barbarian. Wait, what is this? Is that a barbarian leader? Oh, yeah, barbarian warlord. He's actually pretty good. We're going to have to watch out for him. So, yeah, no, they've pushed our unit back and they're going to attack us next turn. But we've got our uh, legion here, basically. Kind of want to use both of these, but I'm guessing we can't send both into this fight. So we'll attack them with the legion units. Oh, no, they're attacking us first, I think. Yeah, they are. And then I guess we attack them next. Yes, that is how that's going to work. We'll see. We've only got one unit, but our units are so good. And these have taken quite a bit of damage from that last fight. I think we might win or... It's pretty close. Yeah, we actually made one unit uh, run away, basically. And the other unit stood strong, but not really for that much longer. 
We've got this arch unit. We're going to have to watch out for this barbarian warlord. I'm not 100% sure what he does. I kind of want to attack this, but then I think it will leave our new land here open for attack. So I'm going to tell them to heal up for one turn. And then next turn, we can uh, probably attack both of these. Oh, they made this uh, this unit run away, which is fine. So actually, I'm going to send you over to here. And then get you in here. We can heal you up. And then these can attack this warlord next turn. Chaos invaders. The countryside outside of Manchester has become dangerous due to the rise of brigands. If nothing is done, the brigands will gain confidence and begin harassing the citizens of Manchester. So I believe this is because we kept attacking people and taking their land. So we could either spend money to just tell them to go away, which we can't. We don't have that money. Oh no, there's a lot of them. Oh dear. <laughs> This one might end relatively quickly, guys. <laughs> well, actually, I wonder if they'll attack these. Probably not, but it would be interesting if they did. Can we spawn something? Oh, we can spawn a tribal army. Okay, it's not amazing, but it is something. I don't think we can afford these anymore. No, we can't. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> right, we got these archers. Can we attack you? Uh, I kind of just want to, yeah, heal up, to be honest. Going to get pretty spicy there. Right, let's attack you. Let's kill this guy. It might give us enough XP to spawn some more troops. He's dead. There we go. He's gone. We've almost got enough warfare XP, but I don't think we'll be able to get enough. Is there a camp over here? No, I guess he just spawned as part of this uh, kind of rebellion. Oh, nice. The Aztecs attacked them. <laughs> Thanks, Aztecs. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. They actually cleared out those barbarians for us. That's awesome. <laughs> That's actually really funny that that happened. Oh, they've actually sent some more units here. Oh, let's attack these guys. They're dead. Nice. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Innovation. Martial law. The nation of the United Kingdom are well respected by other nations for their fearsome warriors. Their recent victories have installed great pride and support back home, as well as struck fear into the United Kingdom's villains and outcasts. Okay. So you can accept this. We get plus four unrest suppression, or we could just take some gold. So I'm going to do the suppression. I think that's going to prevent more of these army spawn, which is quite useful for us. Right, we're going to attack these Aztecs before they can attack our city. We'll see if that was a wise idea. It was not. We died. <laughs> okay, that was not a good idea. Oh, we can actually... Oh, yeah, we have those veterancy bonuses. Yeah, we should have done that because it actually healed them up and made them better. Yeah, these are now armoured uh, spearmen. Oh, wow. Yeah, we should have done that before. <laughs> what a mistake. I don't think any of these other armies have any... Oh, no, they do. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have done that when we moved up to the Age of Bronze. It would have helped us. Anyway, let's attack this other army. There we go, dead. The archers just wiped them out before they could even attack us, I think. Crisis age is imminent. We're at five out of six. Wait, do we not have to hit the other requirements? We can get reinforcements. Restore some of the army's health and morale at the cost of combat XP. No, John, we won't do that. We'll save it up instead. Oh, we can spawn some more Spartans. Let's do that. Let's do that for sure right here where we are going to get attacked any second. Oh, the Blood Age crisis is upon us. If our nation controls the future, then it will be written in blood. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we unlocked um, uh, Discipline. Cool, we get some better units. No, we still need to hit the three out of three technologies. So, you know what? let's just pick the quickest ones, because I want to hit that. I think it'd be funny. Uh, let's go do Belief. We'll believe in the Age of Blood. We're going to believe Corn's going to come down and help us. Oh, this is actually a pretty decent army. Oh, yeah, this has got the upgraded units in it. What does this give us? Retire. Oh, we're not doing that, are we? Yeah, these have got defenses. So I kind of want to get another unit in here. Have we got, like, a leader here? Yeah, we've got a leader unit. Buffs their army with their tactics stat. Tactics represents leadership. Oh, it just makes them basically overall better. I mean, I kind of want to just come over and attack them and see how we do. Yeah, let's just give it a go. We won't know if we don't do it, will we? So let's do it next turn. Right, you can come over here, though, and... Oh, no, we need to wait for that first. You can heal up a little bit more. You can head over here. I want to keep an eye on any of the units spawning. Speaking of, there is some units that just spawned. I'm kind of surprised they've not come to us to ask for peace. I guess they think they might still win. I mean, to be fair, they might still win. Right, let's use these two and attack you. I don't think you've got any chance. I mean, they've got some chance. They are a buffed unit, but I still think our uh, spearmen here are going to do... Most of the damage. We lost one guy. They got wiped out. It worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, let's let's see how this goes. I've got no idea how this is going to go. Oh, we probably needed more archers. Yeah, we probably did. I think this is going to go badly for us. Although, these leaders might do a lot of damage. They do not. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go very badly for us, I think. So I don't think our archers are going to do enough damage. 
Well, we did okay. We actually nearly took the walls down, so it actually went better than I thought it would. Still, it didn't go fantastic. Uh, yeah, you guys can stay in here. Can we actually attack with this? We can, but we won't do. We'll kind of hover around. Uh, yeah, you're going to wait till next turn, and then you can attack uh, these guys. Oh, you're actually under attack? Oh, we're actually um, bringing these units out. That's actually going to work out quite well for us, I think. Uh, do we want to risk attacking them again? Combat prediction, 100% it's going to be a draw. <laughs> Still kind of tempted to do it. We're actually going to attack this unit now and see how we do. I think we should do all right just because, yeah, we've got these kind of units defending our archers a little bit. Oh, they've spawned another unit, I think. Right, Joel, let's just attack them. I don't think it's going to go well, as I said, because we got rid of our units. We just got these big three leader dudes just leading the fight, but I think they're going to get killed relatively easily. Let's see. Oh, we, we destroyed the walls, though. Okay, well, if we brought another army over here, I think we'd actually do pretty decent. The problem is we don't have one, so... I mean, we could reinforce these and then bring them into this army, and then we might be able to attack next turn. Right, we'll chase these down with this army. You can stay here. Kind of want to bring these down. Wait, no. We best wait another turn just in case they kind of sneak through two attackers. Oh, off a piece. We have more important targets than you at the moment. Consider this a blessing. No. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. Let's give it a go. Oh, we captured them. Nice. Regional capital conquered. Three population killed. Stole all of this. We gained some more chaos. Blood for the blood gods. That's why we need chaos power. The Aztecs have been defeated. And we've taken this over. We just get to keep it. Doesn't even give us the option this time. I think we're going to kill these guys. Yes, we are. Fantastic. Well, that was really, really good. Choose a technology. So we're at two out of um, two out of three. So we're almost into the Age of Blood, which is going to be amazing. Let's go with Officials, just because it's the quickest one. We don't know where Persia is, because we know they beat us to it last time. So I'm not sure if they're like ahead of us still, or we've caught up because we had those buildings. We do have another pretty decent-sized region now. So I think we should be getting enough knowledge that we should be able to get there a bit easier. We can spawn another army. I don't think we need to do that just yet. These guys can come back. Yeah, let's kind of um, heal these guys up and then we can take them out on some more adventures. Oh, there is actually... Oh, a neutral... Oh, this is like the remnants of the uh, Aztec army, basically, just hanging out over here. So let's kill them. I think these are the last of the Aztecs. Although we have wiped out their civilization, they do technically have some units left. And we've only got 21 turns left. So, oh, there's, there's a lot of barbarians here. But there is a goody hut as well. So let's see if we can make it to it. I'm not convinced we are going to be able to, but we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, let's kill you guys. There we go. Nice. And then we should probably bring those back here. And then I think we'll just keep attacking these. Although we've earned the requirements to become the Age of Blood. So I guess it might work out quite well for us. We can expand with a settler if we wanted to. Do we want to do that? Spawn a settler to make more territory? I mean, we've just captured this. So I feel like not doing that. I might save this. I don't know if we can unlock the next government type. But I might save this for now and then just spawn armies later on. I think that's probably going to be more useful. And again, for this, we're going to do that. Although, actually, we'll save it up so we can buy some of these unlocks instead. We haven't met another nation, though. These are all these independent ones. We could go and attack those, I suppose. More rebellion. We've got a crisis age incoming. Oh, we know about that. We are intentionally trying to get there as well. Oh, no, they haven't spawned. Okay. What did they spawn down here? Oh, they sp Wow, 81. Right, you guys got to get back <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Fortify in here. We do have the um, the city walls, so it will actually help us quite a bit. So we've actually got a envoy in here. Oh, this is where we can send him to like one of these to try willingly convert them to us. Sure, let's give that a go. And then these guys are actually going to go to here and um, unwillingly convert them to us. <laughs> Choose technology. Wait, does that mean we've hit the requirements for Age of Blood? Guys, we're doing it. We've got nine turns to reach it. And what turn are we in now? 41. Okay, we've got 19 turns left. So we're going to hit the Age of Blood before this finishes. I wasn't planning on doing that, but it's actually going to work out. Oh, wait. There's 81 of them here as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. That's bad. We left no units defending this. So that's going to be a bad time. We are under attack by these. So let's just see how it goes. Are we attacking them technically? Oh, we are. Okay, we might actually win this. There's our leader. I love the fact the leader's just one dude with a big club. There you go. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are our guys now. Now we uh, fought them off. 
Wait, it says there's a battle here, but I don't think there is because we've already killed them, haven't we? Oh no, this is going to do the other battle. Yeah, this is going to go badly for us. Wait, no. Oh no, this is our um, other unit that's stationed here. So we should win this, I think. Yes, we did. Cool. Use cultural power. to spawn more Spartans. Let's spawn them here where they're going to get attacked immediately. Oh wait, no, it's going to do the battle first? Oh no. <laughs> I thought it was going to spawn the Spartans there. Okay, we didn't get absolutely wiped out. Oh, we lost it. <laughs> We lost it. Are these like English rebels then? Because isn't this the inverse of our flag? It is. That's actually really cool that these become like rebel Englishmen, basically, with an inverted... Yeah, it's revolutionary United Kingdom. <laughs> That's cool. That's actually really cool. I love it. Right, yeah, we'll go see if we can like uh, convert these guys into our, uh, to our nation. But we will... Uh, yeah, we'll get you to heal up a little bit. Okay, those spawns didn't spawn because of what happened. So we can actually spawn them here. Wow, did it spawn two sets? Oh, it did. Yeah, so it looks like we haven't unlocked our next government type. I don't think we will do till theoretically age four, which won't be in this demo. So I guess we might as well just spawn another army. Yeah, we might as well do that, I suppose. And then warfare, we're going to say we could do these. We're actually just going to save up for some bonuses. And I think when we go into the age of blood, we get to choose another national spirit. I'm not sure, though. We will find that out for too long. Right, you guys come over here because you're going to have to take this back. <laughs> I'm, do you know what? I'm kind of glad it happened because I think it's awesome that they become revolutionaries. You guys are going to stay there, though, just in case. We have met another nation. Oh, we've met the revolutionary United Kingdom. Okay. Oh, wait. So we have to now, like, officially declare war on them? <laughs> That's actually cool that they become, like, a proper nation you've got to fight and do, um, do diplomacy with. Right, you guys are going to have to come down here. So, yeah, we have to wait, like, I think a couple of turns before we can then declare war on them. And as I said earlier, so we have our home region, which is Manchester. As you can see, it's got this like thick border. This is a vassal of ours. So although it's technically part of us, we don't actually control what they do. They build things, they do all this cool stuff, and then they send us like tribute, basically, if you want to think of it that way. Yeah, let's uh, vassalize mine the nation. There we go. That was easy. Although maybe we shouldn't have done that because um, yeah, these guys are right here. We spawn in a, oh no, we can't. This is on cooldown. <laughs> so I think we vassalized that and then they're immediately going to die. That doesn't seem ideal, does it? Did they attack us? Oh, they didn't attack us. I guess they maybe just moved there that turn. Okay, we'll do this then. And then at least we've got some units here. Can we uh, declare war? No, we've got to wait two more turns before we can attack them. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, you should probably attack these, I suppose. We can promote these up to spearmen. Oh, we'll definitely do that. And then we'll attack them. It went okay. It went okay. I won't say it went amazing. It went alright, though. How many turns we got left? We got 13 turns left. Right, you guys... Oh, is this a goody hut over here? Well, let's go find out. I think it is, by the looks of the layout. Tribal camp. Oh, it is. Nice. I kind of want to find another nation to attack before our 60 turns. Ends. Oh, yeah, we've got loads of improvement points. <laughs> oh, wow. I totally forgot about this. Right, let's get some dwellings, because we'll need those to expand this further. Plantation on here. I think we need a farm on here. Okay, it really should, like, remind you to do these. I totally forgot until it was kind of flashing so much. This will give us diplomacy XP. Weaver will give us money. Uh, Vats will give us wine, which will give us culture. Pasture will give us more food, I'm guessing. Oh, no, it gives us exploration XP. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll just go another plantation on here. And get some more resources from this. Yeah, I totally forgot about these. Can we use these in our other, in these vassalized nations? Oh, I think they've already been built, actually. Well, let's see. Can we build a forest here? Oh, we can. Okay, so we can improve these, even though we don't technically directly control them. Okay, that's good to know. Now, let's see what's in here. Strange designs. The machines and tools used in this village are like no others. Let's get knowledge. Oh, we did it, guys. I think we won. I think we won the race to the next age. Yes, United Kingdom entered the next age. The Age of Blood. <laughs> awesome. All nations are locked into war during the Age of Blood. So just everyone attacks everyone. You can't be at peace, which is amazing. That's why I really love this age system, because it's so crazy. Unrest from war is disabled. Chaos gained from conquering regions is reduced. Military units have reduced upkeep. Earn warfare XP by killing non-barbarian units. A new government unlocked. Oh, interesting. We have a new government then. Peaceful revolution. In this age, you can adopt a new government. So we go into revolution, and then we get to pick our government. Is that how that works? I think it is. New government form is available. Violent revolution. Revolt against the current government and choose a new one. 
I mean, I guess <laughs> we'll get 50 government XP if we can, and then we will do that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we are in the Age of Blood. Oh, it's actually changed the map. There's like a red tinge to all the clouds. It is like uh, Blood for the Blood God is gonna it's gonna start raining down from the heavens. And here we go. So the Age of Blood has different technologies than if we got into the Age of Heroes or the Age of Iron. These are all obviously based around the Age of Blood. Horses, I guess, will turn... Oh, just gives us cavalry. Allows us to increase the speed at which your territory expands. Oh, that's pretty good. Brutality. Skull towers and bloodstone walls. I love it. Do we want to do that, though? Gladiators? I kind of want to do this. Fighting pits and proving grounds or barbarism. Wait, what? You can create a barbarian encampment, and then I guess they attack the nation they're near? That's awesome. <laughs> you can enlist barbarians. You could found one and then convert them into fighting for your nation, or... We can create a warlord unit. This is pretty cool. You can like spawn these near other nations and then um, they'll attack the other nation, but it technically won't be you. Although everyone's at war, so I guess it doesn't affect you that much in this era, in this age. But then when we go to the next stage, I believe we keep this so we can carry on doing this in the future. Even if we're at peace with people, we could be spawning these barbarians next to them just to kind of keep them harassed for a bit. I'm going to pick brutality. It just fits the age of blood so much better. I can't believe we haven't met any other nations, though. We kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of want to. Right. I think we can attack you now. Oh, wait. Do we know everyone that exists now because we got into the Age of Blood? Oh, I guess so, because we're all at war with each other. So we'd have to know who they are. So, okay. Yeah, there's all these guys. But we're going to attack you if we can. Envoy is not established. Can we... Oh, wait, no. We're automatically at war with them, aren't we? Yeah, we can't not be at war with them. So let's give it a go. That went pretty well for us. Nice. And then we'll attack with you, and that should destroy revolutionary United Kingdom. Which is still just funny. Oh, they had one guy left. Okay, I guess we'll have to do it next turn. And then we've got ten turns left, and then that will be our uh, campaign finished. Do you know what? I don't trust now we're in the Age of Blood that no one's going to come and attack us here now. There we go. We'll attack them. There we go. Region capital conquered. Thank you very much. We'll have our, uh, I would say our city back, but we'll have the Aztec city back for ourselves. <laughs> Thank you very much. And yeah, we haven't met anyone else, unfortunately. I don't think it's like shown them on the map. No, it hasn't. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to find at least one more nation. Uh, well, no, actually, if we head south, this is all ice, wasn't it? Yeah, so I think that is the bottom of the world. So I guess we should head into here. I wonder if there's a nation around here. Sure, let's send this army out. Let's see. I don't think we're going to have enough turns to find another nation, though. Barbarian Resurgence. Oh, they're right next to us. Good. That means we can attack them right now. <laughs> nice. That was actually good. Oh, there's just one leader, dude. I think you're going to die. Yes. That actually worked out very well for us. Oh, wait, there's another guy here. That is not going to work out. Oh, wait, no, it's fine. Right, you come down to here, and then we'll attack them next turn. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, fortify for now. Use a cultural power. Peaceful revolution. Let's do this. Revolution will be peaceful. So we can become an imperial dynasty. The divine sovereign reigns over the nation from a palace. Or we can become a kingdom with a king. I mean, I think we've got to become a king, haven't we? Well, actually, what does this give us? This improves food, housing, sanitation, production. No, we've got to do kingdom. This allows us to spawn an army of spearmen. Oh, we get this one for free. Nice. Oh, actually, oh yeah, we saved up a bunch of XP. So we can do a few of these. Spawn Settler is cheaper. As we're in the demo, we're not going to do that because we've only got like eight turns left anyway, so there's no point doing this. Spawn Envoy is cheaper, or we can spawn just a bunch of spearmen. I think we're definitely just going to spawn a bunch of spearmen. Oh, no, there's more of these units down here. Okay, you're going to have to come down here and uh, watch out for these. Okay, so we're going to be playing defensive, basically, for the rest of uh, this campaign, by the looks of it. Wow, we didn't even kill him. Wow, that's how good he is. Oh, they're actually here attacking our capital as well. The Battle of Manchester. Oh, we actually have four of these defensive units now. Yeah, he, uh, he, he lost that fight basically immediately. Army destroyed. Didn't even show us the animation. It just went, yeah, you, you're going to win. Don't worry about it. And he's dead as well. Nice. We're actually fighting off these barbarians, which is pretty useful. Obviously, defeating these barbarians gives us XP, which allows us to buy more of these things. So... As annoying as barbarians can be, if you're going for that kind of warfare victory, you can just keep doing this and kind of farm XP from them. Heal an army in friendly territory. We're not going to do that. I guess gain one experience by guarding, because then we can promote them up a little bit more. 
None of the rest were really that good. We can spawn another army. Sure, let's just do that. Go oh, a berserker? Awesome. Oh yeah, we're under attack, I think. <laughs> I think we're under attack here. Oh no, we can attack him. Sure, let's give it a go. Let's see if we're going to win. We should do, because he was almost dead. Yeah. There we go, nice. I don't think they can sneak past us, so I think we'll be fine. We've got four turns left. Training regiment. The warriors of the United Kingdom march ever onward to protect even the most distant parts of the nation. Yes, we get plus 10 movement, or we can get 450 gold. Which is a lot of gold, so let's do that. Why not? And then we can build some more improvements. We get some more foresters. Yeah, foresters. Let's get those going down. There we go. We defeated all the barbarians, but we're going to sit back and protect our capital, I think. Yeah, we did kill all of these. I kind of want to go down here, though. Yes, because there we go. There's another unit here. We'll attack him. I think we're going to have to do another turn. Yeah, we are. Oh, they're actually going to attack us. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure, you do that. Let's, let's see how that goes for you. Yeah, let's resolve this fight, I guess. Sure. Yep. Definitely attackers, you're dead. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. I think that was always going to be the outcome. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to find another nation. I guess we should have maybe got another scout at the beginning and tried to use that to kind of um, make some headway into finding another nation. Awesome. We have one turn to go, guys. And, uh, oh, hello. There's a... Uh, oh, these are more Aztecs that are alive. Battle in the wilderness. Well, yeah. There we go. Nearly nearly wiped them out. So I actually like that you get these like remnant uh, units of uh, nations that you've defeated. That's pretty cool how that works out. But we've got one turn basically left. So yeah, I don't think there's anything we can really... Oh, is this a barbarian camp? Oh, it is. Interesting that it spawned so close to us. But it's all gone. So <laughs> we found a functional gizmo. We... Sure, let's just get the uh, the wealth, I suppose. There we go. That is the end of it. As you can see, these are the different national spirits you can choose. So we chose this one. Uh, th this was like a seafaring one, and this is obviously space race themed. But uh, yeah, that is the demo at the moment on Steam Next Fest. Give it a go, guys, if you've enjoyed it. I think it looks really cool, as in like the mechanics of it. As I've said, I covered all the dev diaries, and I've really enjoyed kind of seeing how the game is set up. And it's been fun to actually play the game and see kind of how it plays in person. Obviously much better to do that than kind of figuring it out from uh, Dev Diaries and things like that. But yeah, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you do go wishlist it. There's no release date yet, but I believe it is going to be out this year, but don't quote me on that. But I think it probably will be. It is, what, just into February. We've got this demo. Hopefully it is out by the end of the year. More competition in the Forex market is always welcome because it helps just all the Forex games get better and better the more competition there is. But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed my uh, 60 turns as the United Kingdom. I kind of wanted to do more warfare, but there were no other nations near us. But I think it was kind of fun doing what we did and getting to the Age of Blood. Hopefully you like how the age system works. I think it's cool, especially as you progress further and further into the game. And there's all these different ones. There's like Age of Plagues, where it's all plague ridden. There's um, Age of Ether, where steam power basically became the prominent uh, power unit for everything for a while. And uh, loads of cool systems like that. So go look on their Steam page got a lot of information on there but uh, we'll leave it there for today as i said hit that like button subscribe if you're new here i play a lot of historical strategy games on the channel and i cover dev diaries news all that good stuff and let me know in the comments down below do you want to see me try get to like the age of heroes or something before the uh, festival ends and i'll give another campaign a go and uh, kind of see how that plays out with another nation and a different starting bonus and all of that but uh, we'll leave it there for today i'll see you in the next one